welcome to SME TV. When someone says they are passionate about what they do, it's usually from a comfortable place of full-time employment. But there's some strong local data that suggests 80% of new small businesses set up in 2021 are from people who already have a full-time job. Clearly, they feel so driven by their passion that they take the plunge and set up a business while still having a full-time career. And many of them are women. Today, I want you to meet one of these passionate people who discovered the healing properties of an ancient ingredient of masticha from the Greek island of Chios. She became an importer of masticha and an online entrepreneur. I'm very pleased to welcome Vicky Rulis, founder of Vasiliko Dot Shop. Welcome, Vicky. Hi, Angela. Look, it's so great to have you because I've had so many long chats with you offline getting ready for today's interview. And you, you taught me a lot about something that sh I should already be aware of, which is the ingredient of masticha. And what I didn't know, very strangely, this was that it's a protected product of Greece. Absolutely. Um, it's a protected origin um, it, because it only grows in Greece and on the island of Hills. Uh, and it's, uh, yeah, it's one of those um, ancient things that have been around for thousands of years. And, um, yeah, and it's been, yeah, protected by the um, EU origin. So. so how did you become an importer? I mean, clearly you didn't just wake up one day and go, oh, I like the way that tastes. I should go find out where it is and bring it to Australia. Yeah, uh, so I um, grew up with Mastika, um, just, um, you know, from a very like most young of age. Us, like, like most of us Greeks. <laughs> like most of us Greeks. And it's um, until, um, you know, I started visiting Greece um, and, and, you know, visiting often, and I started to realise, um, you know, the benefits um, and extraordinary benefits, I should say, um, the healing side of um, mastica and um, the use. It's like uh, it's widely used, not only as a chewing gum, but it, as a, you know, um, you know, you can use it in your food. You can, um, it's, it, it actually heals your stomach. It, you know, it, you know, it's used as an antioxidant. It, it's used in so many different ways and um you know and it was documented back in you know back with Hippocrates um thousands of years ago of the healing benefits so you know once I started reading up and, and learning about it I was really really drawn by um by the qualities so this is this is a product that's um essentially a resin from the tree yeah and they, they and call it tea drops or teas Absolutely, yeah, because as it grows from the tree, like it, it, it's a sap from the tree and it looks like a tea and that's why they call it the teas of uh, heels. And it's still farmed, if you will, or extracted from the from the tree and used. It's still farmed the same way. It's all by hand. It's got to be cut very carefully and extracted. Absolutely. It's still harvested like thousands of years ago um, where they, um, they extract it from the tree, it drops on the ground, and um, the women in Kiel's actually go in and, and clean um, the tea drop one by one, and um, they they then sort it out in sizes, um, and then it's used for different purposes, whether it's liqueurs or for food or for just simply, you know, like to use as a, you know, um, just you know, to take it as as it is as a chewing gum, um, or just for for food or, or or whatever whatever use it is. So it's an ingredient that can be consumed or used in the raw natural form which is like the crystals or the teardrops but then it can also be used right across the board in terms of food and beverage so you can make make liqueur drinks out of it um, there's sweets out of it but also um, body products face and body products it's an ingredient in face and body products yeah um so i use it on a daily basis i use it i use the model and pestle and i use it, i grind it in um and put it on my avocado on toast every morning um you know i also put the teas in my water um so it's you know it, it actually um helps with the digestion that's what you know mastica is is renowned for um but um but yeah but they also do make um the bigger teas they actually use for liqueurs um and you'll find that when you go to Greece um after a big meal they always serve you with a little shot of liqueur of mastica liqueur um and but from a cosmetic perspective yeah all the natural cosmetics like face creams body creams yeah it's all used in that and and it's just absolutely beautiful and if i remember correctly vicky you told me that there are some existing products today 
that contain mastica as an ingredient that we don't even know about. So in commercially available products, they don't even, they may not even list that ingredient, but they are very careful to use it because of its anti-inflammatory, antibacterial properties. Yeah, um, absolutely. There's a lot of um, vitamins out there or people that are suffering from gastrointestinals and, you know, they actually, they, they're not aware, but they, they do, they actually have mastica in those um, capsules, in, in those um, vitamins, um, because it is all about the digestion. It, it helps, um, you know, with, it, it actually is renowned um, for the uh, Helicobacter pylori. It's actually renowned to, um, to heal um, Helicobacter pylori, which is, you know, millions and millions of people do suffer uh, from it. And it is the start of a lot of diseases in the gut. I think, um, I think so, a Greek, a Greek professor discovered that. That absolutely. particular stomach, yeah, that particular stomach bacteria, um, which can then progress into something a lot more serious if it's not treated earlier. Uh, absolutely. And Hippocrates does say all diseases start from the gut. So, you on this particular journey. You try. You've got a full time career as it is. You're also an online entrepreneur. You've discovered that there's an ingredient that you feel so passionate about that you've brought it to Australia as an importer. And of course, we're we're going to remind everybody again. It's vasilikor.shop, so they can go to the um the online platform and and buy a product or even see the video that shows how mastica is harvested. What are some of your hits and misses? Because you're a you're an entrepreneur as well as someone who believes so deeply and passionately um, in the in the product that she's turned it into a business. What are some of the hits and misses that you found with dealing with the online world, and not and or as or as an importer, if you can share that with our viewers? So I know you know like your website, for instance, you went through a lot of iterations before. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, um, so the first thing was, well, yeah, I mean, I definitely wanted to find something that I was passionate about and, and Mastika was definitely my passion because I, I feel it plays an important role in, you know, in our everyday lives. Um, but, um, but yeah, some of the, the hit and misses I found that um, I, I did initially start with, um, you know, creating a website, um, but I didn't have access. So, you know, so I wasn't able to make um, instant changes. So I found that I had to change that and start using Shopify. Um, so then I had full control. So I was able to, you know, include additional products, remove other products that weren't working or change prices or change my inventory as, as, I, as I saw fit, you know. Um, so I found that Shopify was really, really helpful. Um, so for, for an, uh, an online entrepreneur starting out, you, you think you're going to be spending, that you're doing the right thing by spending a lot of money on building a website. Yeah. And, and what you don't realise is that the maintenance of it, the updating of it, having control of it's actually not within your ability to do that. So you found that Shopify was a great solution. Cheap Absolutely, because and cheap and easy. And and easy and and you know and because you're sort of like starting out and you're you know you don't know which products are working you know what you need more of what you need less of and you, you know there is that that constant change and um so you definitely want to be able to have access at, at any time so and shopify provides you with that and yeah you have direct access to your customers which is which is great so you know it's and been fantastic vicky you mentioned products was this also uh, an experience and a hit and miss on sort of did you initially bring over a very wide range of product and then find that it was a bit of a challenge? Yeah, um, because um, I found that um, because Mastika um, was not known to many people, even the Greeks, you know, um, they, they weren't aware other than it being a, a chewing gum um and perhaps maybe being used in some food um like some some cakes other than that they weren't aware of the healing properties that mastica has especially that it's like you know antibacterial antimicrobial anti-inflammatory like it has all these actions and you know and it was widely used in the ancient world but um so and then and then knowing that there was like over a hundred products um that i found um that you know, contained mastica. So because I wasn't sure as to what people would, you know, like were, you know, going to, you know, like, like or they didn't like, so I, I actually invested in a wide 
wide range of products. And then I could sort of, you know, determine from there, you know, where I should concentrate on um, which products I should really concentrate on. So, it's a trial and a trial and error, if you will, of bringing in products, seeing which one moves, which one doesn't move. But I mean, that that must be the same challenge that faces anyone that's an importer of product. You know, you you don't know what sells to you actually start. And as you highlighted, you chose something or a product or an ingredient that perhaps is not very familiar outside of outside of Greece or Greek people. But there is a higher uptake now on overseas products and ingredients people are much more aware of their health and well-being uh, absolutely um you know and that's what i've found that um health and wellness is you know obviously the focus is especially in in these times um so we really need to take care um you know not, not only our body but our mind you know and you know just mind and mind and body just everything is all into one um and um yeah so and and mastika is is a part of that do you do a lot of your marketing via facebook and instagram is that your natural place of where you feel you might get more interaction with customers and engagement yeah i do i um i use facebook and predominantly more instagram um, and um, I try and sort of also not only just um, advertise the products, but also just give the history um, and the background of what Mastika is, um, you know, you know, the healing qualities, what it's, you know, over the years, how it was used, um, just, yeah, everything that surrounds, you know, Mastika over the years. Because Facebook and Insta are the perfect platform for health and well-being, um, you know, that's that's a heavily influenced influencer world. We know that. So telling people the story of the ingredient, the properties of it, the uniqueness of it, even more so that it's only found in one place in the whole world, uh, that it's still yeah. harvested the same way. All those, are, you know, part of the story of the journey of the product. So that must help with the engagement. Absolutely. That's what I loved about it as well. Uh, one of the many things, but one of, you know, it's just the uniqueness and that it cannot be replicated. Um, and, you know, and it was that real connection back to, um, you know, our ancestors. That's where you feel the cultural connection of your product and, and yeah. what motivated you initially. We are going to run out of time. So what I do want you to do is, can you show us some of your big sellers? Yeah, uh, absolutely. So, um, Mastika, Mastika, here are the, the teardrops and um, this is one of our biggest sellers. So that's, so that's how just, they come yeah. in, the, in a box for purchase? Yeah. And, and that's the, the actual, crystals? Yeah. The so they're the, they're the teardrops? They're the actual teardrops. They're, they're raw, they're straight from the tree, they, you know, that's and they're, they're packaged from heels and, um, you know, and they're um, boxed up. And, uh, they're, and that's, they're, you know, that's what you pound in the mortar pestle every morning and put on your toast yeah and the aroma is i i, I can't explain like you know just yeah because or you can or you can chew that you can soften that chew on yeah it. yeah um so if i've got an upset stomach i actually chew and i can chew this all day <laughs> yeah and um and like i said you can also put it in your water and it actually instills your water it um the water okay yeah yeah, and, um, and it helps again with your digestion. And one of my um, mother's also... one of my mother's favorite products, which is the the candle and the oil. So she'd be using the oil. So that's the, um, like aromatherapy. Yeah. So, but you can also use it in your cooking as well. Um, so oh, these, really? are, these are yeah. So these are all um, certified. I don't know if you can see it on things, but they're all like you know certified. Uh, so yeah, safe so, to um, eat. So, all use yeah, right. So, so if it's good good enough to eat it's good enough to put on your skin as well That's right. okay um, and um this is one of um from a body product this is our argan and mastica oil that's again a, another bestseller um you can put right. on your hair and your body so i'm very much about natural um natural, natural products and um we've also got my mother's um, favorite <laughs> a beautiful mastica range yeah we have four um and everything um exhibits ingredients from greece um so this one here is the garifalo um so it's mastica and clove you wouldn't think it works but it actually is amazing um so um and these are hand wrapped and handmade um and again with uh, we use the mastica oil and um it's only essential ingredients and um yeah all natural products and just to highlight, because we, we have run out of time, it's vasiliko.shop for all our prospective 
customers out there and yes. and they need to say that uh, they if they see if they said they saw you on SME TV well you might send them a little thank you yeah absolutely I'll happy to out. do so thanks thank for joining so us much. today Vicky thank you Angela thank you for your time it's another great online entrepreneur doing amazing things in a side hustle, which we're sure tomorrow will grow into bigger and better things. A big shout out to the SMEA Association for all of their support. And if you have any questions, comments or stories, you can send them straight to me, news at smea.org.au. That's it from us. We'll see you next time. See ya.